Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Let's Talk Money. Today we will be talking about various ways to save money on your car insurance. The information presented in this video is courtesy of Jurgis Insurance Agency. So here are some ways that will help you keep your car insurance premiums low. Choose your car wisely. Uh, vehicle damage is the biggest cost component for auto insurance, so premiums will vary by auto model. When comparing models, ask your car dealer to show you the relative collision insurance cost information booklet. This is produced annually by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Next, compare policies. Auto policies can vary a lot. Discuss your insurance needs openly with your agent, broker, or insurance company. They can help you, but it is your responsibility to choose the insurance that is best for you. You should always get several quotes. A quote isn't basically an estimate of your premium cost. Compare quotes before you buy a policy. Know your policy. It is very important to be familiar with your auto policy before you need it. Read it carefully. The declarations page is a useful summary of your policy. Call your agent, broker, or insurance company if you do not understand something in your policy. Tell your agent, broker, or insurance company um, if you sell or buy a car or have new drivers in your household. Also, read your policy before you allow others to drive your car. Some drivers might be excluded from your policy. This means that the policy will not cover accidents when they are driving. If you don't have an agent, feel free to reach out to Yuga. She is an independent insurance agent, works with multiple carriers in California, and can compare your options and answer your questions. Improve your credit score. You may not realize it, but your credit-based insurance score could be causing you to pay more for your insurance than it is necessary, thanks to uh, most carriers' use of credit score in setting premiums. Even with a clean driving record, car owners can pay hundreds of dollars a year more for insurance if they have anything less than the best credit score. Also, manage teenage driver risk. Adding a teenager to your policy can hike your cost by 90% on average nationally. Talk to your agent about options. In some cases, if your teenager or college student has good grades and a high GPA, they might pay less for car insurance. So it makes sense to have good grades, isn't it? Also, choose the right deductible. This is very important. A higher deductible reduces your premium because you pay more out of pocket if you have a claim. And this is smart. Um, talk to your agent about discounts. There are so many discounts uh, that can save you money on the policy. Ask about multi-car discounts for insuring several cars. Mature driver and good driver discounts. Discounts for airbags and anti-theft devices or other features. Uh, payment installment plans and if they are um, service fee. Uh, ask about higher deductibles for comprehensive and collision uh, coverage. This will lower your premium, as I said earlier. Think about dropping comp comprehensive and or collision coverage on older car. If you don't have collision coverage, ask about uninsured uh, motorist property damage coverage. Also, regarding, insure, regarding the discounts, new business and customer loyalty is a huge one. Many insurance agencies show appreciation for your business when you start a new policy and will also reward your customer loyalty when you renew. Um, low mileage. If you rarely use your car, such as driving maybe less than 5,000 miles per year or less, you may receive a special low mileage discount. Uh, Multi-line discount. If you have multiple policies with the same insurer, such as your car, home, and RV, you can typically qualify for a discount on the package. Also, multi-vehicle uh, discount. If you and your spouse each have a car or you have two cars, you can enjoy a multi-car discount. Payment in full. Um, if you have a good cash flow, paying your entire premium annually saves on service charges and those savings are passed on to you as well. So, um, make sure you ask your agent for all available discounts. This is especially important because your agent may not be aware of changing your status, such as retirement. Working with a local agent who takes the time to listen to your needs and provide personal assistance can make a difference, not only in your costs, but also in the quality of your customer experience. As always, thank you very much for watching our videos. Feel free to share this video, like, and comment if you found it useful. 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe and uh, we'll see you again.